Imagine this, you're a teenager about to turn 19, and you're about to become the ruler of one of the most powerful and ancient kingdoms in the world. Sounds impossible, right? But that's exactly what happened to Cleopatra, the last queen of ancient Egypt. Her journey to the throne was filled with education, tradition, and a whole lot of preparation. This is the story of how a young girl became one of the most famous rulers in history. Cleopatra wasn't just any teenager. She was a princess born into the Ptolemaic dynasty, a family that had ruled Egypt for centuries. The Ptolemies were descendants of Greek conquerors who had taken control of Egypt after Alexander the Great's death. They were a powerful and ambitious family, and they made sure that their children were prepared for any challenge. For Cleopatra, this meant a rigorous education that would shape her into a formidable leader. Cleopatra's education began at a very young age. She and her older sister were groomed for leadership, learning the ins and outs of ruling a kingdom. Their days were filled with trips up the Nile River to the family's palace in Memphis, a sacred city where they participated in traditional Egyptian festivals. These events were grand and elaborate, designed to showcase the power and wealth of the Ptolemaic family. Memphis was a city of priests and temples, where the worship of gods and the veneration of the dead were central to daily life. It was a place where Cleopatra learned the importance of tradition and the role of religion in governance. At home, Cleopatra's education was just as intense. She had access to the greatest center of learning in the ancient world, the Library of Alexandria. This vast collection of knowledge was literally in her backyard, and it was where she received her education from the most brilliant scholars of the Hellenistic world. Her tutors were the leading experts in fields like philosophy, rhetoric, and science. They taught her not just facts, but how to think critically and express herself eloquently. Cleopatra's education was not like the schools we have today. There were no weekends, no breaks, and no easy lessons. Learning was a serious business, and students were expected to work hard every day. They studied a wide range of subjects, from literature and history to mathematics and astronomy. But the most important part of her education was learning how to communicate effectively. Cleopatra spent countless hours practicing public speaking, learning how to deliver powerful speeches that could sway the hearts and minds of her people. One of the most influential texts in Cleopatra's education was Homer's Iliad and Odyssey. These epic poems were considered the Bible of the ancient Greek world, and they shaped the moral and cultural values of the time. Cleopatra memorized large portions of these works, learning about heroes like Achilles and Odysseus. These stories taught her about courage, honor, and the complexities of human nature. They also provided her with a rich vocabulary and a deep understanding of the Greek worldview. But Cleopatra's education wasn't just about Greek culture. She also learned about the rich traditions of Egypt, a civilization that was thousands of years old. She studied the history of her country, its gods, and its legends. She learned to read and write in Egyptian, a challenging task that few of her ancestors had attempted. This knowledge gave her a deep connection to the land and people she would one day rule. As Cleopatra grew older, her education became more focused on practical skills. She studied rhetoric, the art of persuasion, and learned how to debate and argue effectively. These skills would be crucial when she took the throne as she would need to navigate complex political situations and make difficult decisions. She also learned about the law, economics, and military strategy, preparing her for the challenges of ruling a kingdom. When Cleopatra was 18, her father died, and she and her younger brother ascended to the throne. The ceremony was a momentous event, taking place in the sacred city of Memphis. Surrounded by priests and dignitaries, Cleopatra was crowned with the serpent crowns of Upper and Lower Egypt, symbolizing her role as the unifier of the two regions. This was a crucial moment, as it marked her transition from princess to queen. Cleopatra's reign was marked by her intelligence, charisma, and strategic thinking. She was known for her eloquence and her ability to connect with people from all walks of life. She spoke several languages, including Greek, Egyptian, and others, which allowed her to communicate with a diverse range of people. Her education had prepared her well for the challenges of ruling, and she used her knowledge and skills to navigate the complex political landscape of the ancient world. Cleopatra's story is a testament to the power of education and preparation. 
From a young age, she was groomed to be a leader, and she rose to the challenge with grace and determination. Her legacy is one of intelligence, charisma, and a deep understanding of the world around her. She remains one of the most fascinating and influential figures in history, and her story continues to inspire people today. So, the next time you think about the importance of education, remember Cleopatra. She was a teenager who became a queen, and her journey is a reminder that with the right preparation, anything is possible.